Hi there. Welcome to Dr. Sam Productive Creativity Podcast. And uh, did get some questions from some friends asking me basically, how do I put all those ideas together? Do I keep thinking about stuff or uh, do I save stuff? And I can tell you there is actually three ways I'm doing it. Uh, one is using my phone. I actually record directly on my phone. And uh, I just have an app uh, on the phone. It's called, I think it's Sony. Uh, and you just uh, open it and you just start recording just no matter where I am I'm driving I'm anywhere I just uh, open that and I start recording if you want to see there is a list a gigantic list actually of uh, recordings that I keep doing so uh, I never stop so once I get to a certain number I just plug the phone to the computer and uh, download everything and put everything on my uh, cloud okay server so i don't save much on the computer itself because i know computers can go bad and things can happen and i will lose the stuff that i've been recording for many years now so that's one uh, is uh, to use uh, a device and i record the stuff and uh, but if i'm writing stuff if i wanted to write a bunch of uh, ideas let's say i'm going to prepare something for a podcast or something the, the best way is to actually use one of these so thank God for Costco. Uh, you can buy three of these like this, one, two, and the, and the third, they have like boxes of them. Uh, basically, uh, you just uh, three of these for like 14 bucks. If you want to buy one, uh, you, you may go to Target or something, you'll find one for like 19 bucks, just one of them. So advice, uh, get the membership to Costco, you'll get a, l- a lot better deal. And uh, basically what I do is just uh, write stuff. As you see, just whatever comes to mind, I just keep writing it and so on, and uh, it doesn't end. Uh, if once I do it like that, put it on paper, once I have some time, maybe an hour or so, or late at night when my kids are sleeping, instead of watching a Netflix video like we all do, I uh, take a little bit of time and type it up. Where do I type it? In Google Docs. I type it in Google Docs as a separate file. Why? because I wanted to have a link. So once I have this, uh, let's say this podcast on a a Word document, not a Word document, a Google Docs document, of course you can save it as a Word as well if you want to get very technical about it. But the most important is, once you save it in Google Docs, that document has a link that I can use and put in my spreadsheet, which is also in Google Sheets. So in Google Sheets, I have all the podcasts. I should probably be showing you this. Uh, uh, Not too shabby. I don't care. I'll share with you. I don't have... You you cannot use my ideas, by the way. But uh, you can definitely see how I'm doing it. So I'm going to share my screen real quick. Since we're doing this technology here. Uh, Okay. Let's lower that, make this bigger. We are in Google Docs. Let's say we are in this one. So this is, for example, how I organize my stuff. See how I have the podcast blog, the podcast slash blog slash blog topic, and I put it in here. Uh, this is still a document in works. I have another one that I wanna didn't want to show the details I have in here but that's basically what it is Uh, so each one of these has actually a plan the topic description will be here a published date will be here full content link is what I'm talking about so the full content link for this podcast for example will be in a document sitting in Google Docs don't want to open the docs here but uh, I see that you understood what I mean by that so now that's basically the plan is to use the technology we have in our disposal to organize our work because once you have it organized so the plan I have here if you probably saw it is to have an entire year of uh, articles entire year of topics entire year of documents that are organized in Google Docs and that are actually showing uh, in a management kind of style 
in a sheet in Google Sheets. You may ask why are you putting all this stuff in Google Sheets and Docs and all that? The cloud. The, the secret is also always uh, to have something in the cloud where I can, if something came to mind, and let's say some idea came up and I wanted to add a new, uh, let's say a new topic that I wanted to, to put in Google Sheets, guess what? I will just open it. I will open Google Sheets like so. This is Google Sheets. I can go to the documents right here. And I can go all the way to the bottom and go and add the new topic right on my phone. Once I do that, guess what? It's actually saved also in Google Sheets. I can also open that in my uh, computer because I have Google Sync which syncs my files directly from my computer to all the Google platforms, either Docs or Sheets or whatever, and I can see all those documents. So the, the uh, option to have all that to go is uh, paramount. And you don't have to miss on anything. It's like, oh, let me think. Uh, once I get home, I'm going to add this new idea. No. Open the phone, get it done right there. And that's the advantage of having this kind of uh, solutions. So uh, that's one, okay? That's uh, basically how to use these uh, solutions. And uh, believe it or not, I actually uh, wanted to start this video for another reason. And uh, start thinking, oh, well, let's just share this uh, management uh, tip first. And then we'll go for So I'm a huge uh, user of these kind of devices. Okay, see that? That's uh, this kind of pants. I love them because uh, it, uh, for some reason, it brings in a little bit of a style, a little bit of a thinking of to the writing process. Everything that you see here is actually written by these pens. And I uh, wanted to just show these pens and what's their value. I buy them, as I say, the last two I bought is one is the, you probably see the title, see, Drayden Design, Drayden Designs, that's this guy right here, uh, for some reason I lo love the blue, so it's actually a little bit more than just the blue, so this is blue, and this is, this is like $20 or so, comes with the uh, 24 cartridges of uh, ink but this guy the one that has silver this is actually the Scriviner or Scrivener I don't know why they called it Scriviner nice box it's like uh, almost $50 and uh, it only comes with two uh, what is it uh, see it's uh, kind of stylish right there that's how it came in with a certificate or some other crazy stuff uh, not important to me but uh, really nice to have and really nice to give as a gift to somebody who is into writing or things like that so we old people will love stuff like this and uh, nobody will tell you wrong we love pens and this is the top of the kind of pen you want to give as a gift to somebody, uh, Scriviner or Scrivener. It sounds like Scrivener, but Scrivener doesn't have this I in the middle. V E I. A Scrivener doesn't have the I. So I don't know. Maybe if we pronounce it in German, uh, Scriviner. Anyway, so uh, these pen they last. Uh, so probably with one cartridge, I probably write a hundred pages long. Uh, so I have to change it, and s of course. So this is almost $50, the Scriviner, and then the Drayden is around $20. And the Drayden, the thing that I liked about it is that uh, it works and everything is cheap and all that. For some reason, it does not give out enough ink, right? I want ink. I want it to be showing. So this is something you can use to write with, maybe sign stuff or whatever, but when it comes to actually having a good writing experience with a pen of this kind, I advise Scriviner.
it's heavy, right? It's really heavy. You feel like you have a good quality pen in your hand. And uh, even the feel is awesome. And I write with blue. Uh, it comes with blue and black, uh, two cartridges basically. But uh, what I did, because I liked it so much, I decided to buy uh, more equipment. So what basically I did, I actually bought a, uh, well, I don't know, I think they call it a loader. That's basically what you use, like a pump to fill the, the pens, the, the pen. And uh, I bought some ink. I uh, forgot how much, it's probably like $40 all in all between the ink and the pump. The, the ink looks like this, I bought this type. So this is the ink I bought, Waterman. It's black and it's basically something to keep away from kids. I have some kids here and they will probably love to have something like this. So it's full right there. You can use that, you can use the pump, which is a small little bitty thing right there. You just use it, you turn it, you turn, you turn it, you put it inside, you keep turning it and it keeps pumping the ink and then you put it in the pencil and that's the, the pen and that's about it. It's not sophisticated, simple stuff to do. Of course, when you're dealing with ink, it may turn out to be a huge nightmare if you don't know how to handle ink. So you need to be steady, you need to be somewhere where if things get spilled or whatever, you don't destroy your desk, you don't spill stuff all over the place. So that's actually something to be mindful of. So that is the reason why I wanted to do this video and it started this way. So that's uh, basically it uh, about these pencils that I wanted to share. And uh, we'll make another video in a minute about other topics that are interesting to you and that I think uh, would be helpful to you and to your uh, readers. Thank you for your time and patience. Take care. Stay tuned for the next one.